Well, next year, too, an alarming new study tonight, a timely one after images like this one. Take a look. Just last night, this BMW crashing into the roof of a family's garage in California. No one was hurt. But tonight, Gio Benitez with the numbers. How often does this happen? It surprised us. We've seen those dramatic and frightening videos, cars slamming into buildings, this car crashing right into a restaurant, injuring at least nine people. And here, this SUV tears through a convenience store, sending the clerk flying. Just today, a car going airborne, landing on the roof of this California home, and an SUV slamming into a school in Pennsylvania. The driver was taken to the hospital. But while many of us see these cases occasionally, we're now finding out how common they actually are. Researchers say there are more than 60 vehicle into building crashes each day, more than 3,600 injuries per year, nearly 500 deaths. Researchers say barriers like these can keep a car from crashing into a building, but it turns out big planters or even concrete garbage cans can help too. And now Texas A&M Transportation Institute conducting tests to determine what type of barriers will best protect these public places from cars traveling up to 30 miles per hour and weighing up to 5,000 pounds. These are innocent people. They're walking into a store or going into a, a doctor's office and somebody else made a mistake and they're getting to pay for their injuries or maybe even with their life. A concrete effort, researchers say, to save lives. Gio Benitez, ABC News, New York.